Andrew, thanks for joining us on Exclusive Insight TV. Obviously, it's been a really busy month for you. Can you talk us through how the last few weeks have been? Yeah, it's been been really hectic. Um, you know, trying to work out uh, exactly what we're going to do in the next year. Um, so, yeah, we uh, decided to retire. Um, you know, I sort of felt like my time at North was coming to an end, and um, try to make a move up to the Gold Coast and didn't work out. Um, so now we move on to the, the next chapter of our lives. Does it, does it feel real yet? Do you, do you feel like you're a retired player? Um, oh, probably because I haven't done a lot of uh, training over the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, I think it, it, it's starting to slowly sink in. I think, um, you know, I've spoken to a few guys who have, who have retired um, and they sort of say it's probably not until games actually start that you realise you, you, you know, you're, um, you know, I suppose really away from, um, yeah, the actual AFL system. So, yeah, um, but slowly just working my way into retirement. Can you take us back to the, to the day when you made the decision? Obviously, it's, it doesn't become a personal decision at this stage no. in your life. You have to consult with your family. Can you take us through the day you, you made the decision? Yeah, well, I suppose it probably wasn't, you know, just one day. It's probably been a, a year in the making where, um, you know, my wife and, and I, we've got um, a two-year-old and... We just had a, a little baby boy uh, about nine weeks ago, so um, you know we sort of knew that we wanted to, to make a move, um, you know, and try and get some some warmer weather, a bit of a, a change of lifestyle. Um, so yeah, we sort of knew that it was it potentially could be on the cards. Um, ideally, I would have loved to have played a year up at the um, the Gold Coast Suns and, and with my brother. I thought that would have really lined up really well. And um, but yeah, when that sort of didn't come off. Um, you know, we sort of had to make a decision and it, it still was pretty tough um, because I still felt like I had some footy left in me. Um, I still feel like I could contribute, but, um, you know, I was ready to, to move on from North Melbourne and, um, you yeah, know, that was a, a hard decision. Um, in the end, it was sort of, you know, um, what I thought was right for, for myself and, and also for my family. The, the last time you were in Queensland was in round 23 against the Brisbane Lions at Gabba. Did you have any sense at all that maybe you might have played your last game of April football? Yeah, I definitely walked off the ground and thought, you know, I tried to soak it all in um, because I thought, yeah, this could be the the last time. I was obviously hoping it wouldn't be, but um, yeah, um, you know, it was, it was great to win. Um, you know, we didn't have a lot of success last year at, at North Melbourne, so to, to finish my last game with a win and, you know, I think we brought in a couple of our, our older players in Lockie Hansen and Lindsay Thomas, who I did most of my... Um, journey with um, and be able to celebrate with those guys and Scotty Thompson I think it was his 200th game so yeah some really fond memories to be able to finish off um, you know a, a great time at North Melbourne. 12 years and, and 224 games in the AFL have you had a chance to, to sit back and, and probably reflect on your career because I'm sure you must be really proud of what you achieved in the game. Yeah I am I think um, yeah, you know, you've started out your career just wanting to get you know, one game. Um, so to play over 200 games, um, you know, I was lucky enough to be captain of the club for five years. Um, you know, some best and fairest is in there, and you know, probably the one thing I, I missed out on was you know the premiership, which um, would have been you know incredible. But I think everything else that um, I could ever have dreamed of, um, I was able to tick off and. So from that point of view, I, you know, I leave the game you know, reasonably satisfied. In 2012, you, you just mentioned you were made captain of the, the North Melbourne Football Club. What, what did it mean for you at the time and, and how do you reflect now in the leadership role of the Kangaroos? Um, oh, I was really proud. Um, yeah, I was, I was only 24 at, the, at that stage. We had um, you know, some great people around. Drew Petrie was there. Obviously, I took over from Brent Harvey, so he was around. Um, so to sort of you know, you know, take the group um, and sort of be able to put my, my stamp on, on that. Um, and then from there, well, I think we played in four out of five final series, we played in two prelims. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really proud of what we were able to achieve. Um, I learned a great deal in that time. Um, you know, you sort of think, oh, you're a, you're a decent leader, but I look back at it now and, and sort of think, well, I didn't really know much. And yeah, I, I learned a heap. Um, and some stuff that are you know going to be great for me to take into my future. I think whatever job um, I move into, um, you know the, the skills and the training that I've had, uh, you know is going to be really valuable, um, and you know for the rest of my life. 
for 12 years is such a long time, and obviously being a one club player, it must be something you're very proud of. What will you miss most about the game? What will you miss most about the um, What I miss most, um, oh, being around the locker room and the banter and uh, having fun with the mates. Um, I think that, that feeling before you run out um, for a game, um, all the balls bounce, that anticipation um, for the contest. I'll miss that, and probably you know when that that moment when the siren sounds and you won a game. I don't think there's there's much can, that can um, match that. So yeah, um, you know it's going to be a sad day. The first time I watch North Melbourne, and um, I'm not there. But um, yeah, I'm I'm really proud of, of what I've achieved, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy to move on. You've gained so much experience, obviously, in your 12 years. What advice would you give yourself uh, if you were just commencing your own football career next year? I think if I was, yeah, give myself any advice, it would be um, to enjoy every moment. I think you're you're always looking to the next thing, to the next thing. Um, whereas you actually just tell myself it's going to be a journey. Um, you know, there's going to be plenty of ups and downs, uh, probably more downs than ups. Um, but just enjoy it um, because it does it does go by so quickly. Like 12 years just feels like that. And I remember sitting down and in my first couple of years and. And the older guys telling me that that uh, it goes by so quickly, and, and now that I'm at the other end, it's like wow, what what happened to 12 years? And um, yeah, so just just enjoy every moment. And how would you like Andrew Swallow the footballer to be remembered? Um, how I'd like to be remembered, oh, to be someone who was super competitive, um, someone that he went out and gave you know everything for his club, uh, for his teammates. Um, you know, wasn't overly blessed with a heap of um, you know talent when it comes to skills and but um, you know the stuff that that I'd like to be remembered for was the, you know the competitive tackling the pressure um, ability to win the footy um, those are the sort of things that um, you know I'd like people to remember my career as Fantastic. Yeah. And what's next for you, Andrew? What's next on the horizon? Uh, I suppose everything's up a bit up in the air still. Um, you know, we've got a lot of, of offers to go and um, play footy at you know different places and um, a few different job offers. So yeah, we're just slowly working through. We sort of know we want to leave Melbourne um, and you know have a bit of a change of lifestyle. So um, yeah, we're slowly just in investigating that and, and trying to work out exactly where the, the best place is. Well, thanks so much for joining us for Exclusive Insights today. Congratulations on a wonderful Thank career you. and all the best for your next moves. No worries. Thanks, Kevin.